Hello and welcome to a Market Mile Mark from Shrewbridge in Wiltshire where I've come back to do the three remaining miles. Castle Place, St Stephen's Place and the new one which I don't know the name of but we'll, we'll call it Peter Black. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the episode. Here we are on a very sunny day. We're popping over to do back into Trowbridge uh, where we were the other day for the uh, Market Mall and Mart. Um, I want to show you the other parts of the Market Mall and Mart. There's two other marts basically, or malls, whichever, whichever you want to call it. Um, they are the new parts of uh, the town. The, first part was built a couple of years ago and it was on the site of there was an old Tesco here um, and it was demolished and then moved, the new Tesco was moved and built um, down the road opposite to the new place which is a new just opened quite recently um, and then we're going to show you the castle place upper area which is a shopping area I mean, to be fair, that, that will not take very long, a couple, a couple of minutes, because there's hardly any shops in there. So here is the mall uh, upstairs, the uh, small, that's his Wilkinson's, Shaw's, and there's a few empty shops because they've moved. Uh, but the mall's been here for a few years now. Uh, a few empty shops and also a uh, Weatherspoons that closed down. Because there's actually two. Uh, two Weatherspoons in Throwbridge. Uh, and that is basically... In fact, I've done a vlog about this place anyway. So we're leading to uh, Wilkinson's, got this stuff come out and now uh, just in the market hall. There's a market down the bottom and the other way there's a weather spoons. We have two, uh, two weather spoons in Trowbridge. The, um, Lower ground. And then we go, that's it. And um, for many years we waited for a cinema because the cinema was up in the top, um, top of the car park and then it was shut down and it was actually now a um, sports and leisure centre in there so that's been we haven't had a cinema here in Trowbridge for years and then all of a sudden we have an Odeon so we're gonna have to go off and have a look at the uh, the area um, and typical of, of all of these sort of complexes they have all the usual uh, restaurants Wagamama and um, Chiquito I always think that's a song, isn't it? That Chiquitito. Chiquitita, tell me the truth. Uh, Premier Inn, there's a Premier Inn here in Turbridge now, and uh, Nando's, and um, Prezzo, F&B, Frankie and Benny's. Um, yeah, all of these are actually quite high-end restaurants that you would find in a cinema complex. So, yeah. And quite recently built as well. So we've got some, some copyright music playing in the background there. 
there's a Frank Uke, then he's behind me. Anyway, so they say that there's um, first three hours of, of free parking here, but you can never get in. There's disabled parking over there outside the cinema, but you'd be lucky to get in here. First three hours free, but you need to have a ticket displayed, regardless of who, who you are. Um, I'm going to move away from uh, ELO because they are. I, if I can hear it, then you can hear it. Uh, we don't want to get copyright strike. <laughs> so, basically, let's have a little zoom. Oh, there's a disabled parking over there, look. So, we have a. Uh, starting down this end, there's. Um, basically, we have the Premier Inn and Nando's. Uh, there's a Mexican grill, which I haven't been in. A Wagamama, Valeroso Lounge and Bar, and Chiquitito, 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 no, not whatever it is, anyway, Prezzo, and of course, Odeon Cinema, and Costa Coffee, and these are the disabled base here, there's only uh, three, and they're taken up, but there was the one, there's some outside the, um, you know, outside the Premier Inn, which if you're lucky you can get into. Now, it was built a few years ago, and it's built on the, um, on the side of the river. There was obviously the old Tesco, I don't know if we can see it, Let's see if we can point it out to you. Over the road there, there's a bridge. And just beyond the bridge is the t new Tesco that they built um, fr from scratch. And it was the larger Tesco. This was actually quite small. Um, but you can see it's quite nice, it's quite pleasant. And the Odeon Cinema uh, over there uh, with their usual uh, prices and things. Not sure. Essentially, that is the new area uh, based on the old Tesco car park, old Tesco shop uh, and car park. And they even built a new, a new um, town hall area. Um, so I'm not sure what they call this particular complex. There's probably a name for it, but I'm not sure what they call it. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Anyway, so we're going to have a look at the new the new bit which they just built and this was built quite recently uh, on an old factory site called Peter Black to show you the first part which is over the road there so we have Greg and Papa John's and there's also a, um, a what's it <laughs> forgotten what it's called <laughs> what's it called um, subway that's the one. It's called Subway. And then they built this M&S. So we're going to have a little look over the road, I think. And just um, they built a bridge, which is quite handy. And um, you go inside here. There's a car park. Well, there's a large car park. Oop. Nearly went down the steps then. Oh, nope. Okay. Hey, it's, okay. <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry. I nearly went down the steps. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> no. Right, so I'm looking for a ramp, which we have. So there's a so yeah, subway. So the MS uh, food hall, which is rather large. But we're going to pop down this way because there's another section, uh, another section to it. You can see that the Odeon over the road there, very, very massive. There's uh, actually, um, oh, there's a sign that we need to have a look at. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that sign, but there is uh, up to three hours um, is free parking. Uh, disabled concessions do not apply, so you don't get nothing for nothing. Um, and you can, um, there is some controversy regarding this in the fact that you have to get a ticket. You must enter your uh, 
full registration uh, when you go into um, and get your ticket and there are um, there are ANPR cameras which will tell you uh, which will tell them when you came into the car park um, and if you don't have a ticket then you will get a ticket and it's um, basically it is £80 fine uh, if you do not comply so there's been a lot of controversy with this place um, in on social media essentially a lot of people have got tickets they've, um, they've seen uh, the um, free parking thing and they haven't done the um, registration properly or they've done or they haven't got a ticket at all and the AMP ANPR cameras have picked it up and they've received a ticket in the post basically and this is essentially the issue that there has been it's been on played out on social media uh, quite a lot in in the area uh, that sun is really really bright it's a lovely day today very cold um, again I'm not sure what they call this particular area but for me um, there's always been this missing link with Trowbridge whenever you want to get a Toby Carvery um, you have to go off to Bristol or Bath or somewhere like that well I'm pleased to say that we have a Toby Carvery in Trowbridge which is brilliant although I've never been in it yet so the Toby Carvery is over there uh, we'll go and pop over and have a look so it's home of the roast I'm not advertising but I do like a nice uh, Toby Carvery it, I don't know how disabled friendly it is because usually when I go in there you've got to serve yourself um, so oh we can't go is it disabled parking one two three uh, there is disabled parking that's good I can't get round that way so we'll go around this way So there we go, that's home of the roast, Toby Carberry, three, three disabled bays, one with a car in it. I'm presuming that that's okay, legal and above board. Now you can get a better shot over the road there, you can see the better shot of the top of the building, just beyond the bridge, there's um, big Tesco. It's not actually part of this complex, but it's been here for years. They had a, a Tesco. I mean, that, that is the size of um, the area. Then we have two uh, two new malls. Um, I've never used. I've never been in this particular area because of the parking situation, where you have to uh, get a ticket, um, or you get a ticket. <laughs> you get if you don't get a ticket, you get a ticket, basically. <laughs> so. Yeah, and it's um, this is actually built on the site of an old factory, as I said earlier. So, yeah, improved, vastly improved, vastly improved, um, Trowbridge, I think. But there, I mean, uh, people moan about what what we've got anyway, so um, you can't really win. But we will have a look around the front. M&S food hall if you like that sort of thing so we go, we'll go down this way and have a little look I mean they've made it they've made an effort with the um, paving and um, you know access so there is Papa John's and uh, of course around the corner <laughs> oh yeah, Domino's, I forgot that. Domino's Pizza. And Subway. Just there. I've got the sun behind me now, so you won't be able to see me. Uh, <laughs> so, pretty bad. Um, 
Ah, well, there we go. That's the uh, market map for Marks in Trowbridge. We have various um, various new areas for you to have a look at. So if you're this way, then pop in. There's a lovely uh, cinema if you can afford it. That was called sarcasm. Right, well, apart from uh, it's very, very cold and I can't feel my hands, uh, that has been a very good, enjoyable visit. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, three areas that I've shown you. Uh, Market Miles and Mart in Trowbridge. Here we got the uh, Castle Place, the St Stephen's uh, Place, and the new area, which I will call uh, Peter Black. Right, so if you have enjoyed it, then don't forget thumbs up, like and share, and uh, come back again, because I'm sure I'm going to be out and about. Now it's nice and sunny, but very, very cold. I just need to get some gloves on, that's all, and hopefully I'll be all right. So it's time for a nice cup of coffee, I think, and maybe an egg, egg butty. Should be good. Okay, catch you again. Bye for now.